Good evening, America. Good evening, world. This is Ad McHenry uh, sitting in my apartment on uh, this Wednesday, November 18, 2015. I uh, just wanted to, uh, to make a quick video again tonight. I, I know I've done this over the last couple of years and just wanted to voice my opinion and, and what I feel and how I think this country and this world are. I pray for America. We need strong leadership, which we don't currently have. We need God-fearing, God-loving leaders. I will accept any of the Republican candidates. I, I really would admire, to, love to see, obviously, t Senator Ted Cruz, uh, Ben Carson, uh, Dr. Ben Carson, uh, uh, Donald Trump, I think, would, would, would lead our country well. Um, I, I think that we need a, 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 a Marco Rubio, a Carly Fiorina, a... a Chris Christie, uh, we need these leaders. We need God-fearing, God-loving leaders. We need people that will stand up for America. Uh, we need we whatever we do. Please, God, let us not elect a left-leaning loon like Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders or any of these people that will destroy America even farther than it is. I did want to make a couple comments tonight. Uh, first of all, for uh, what's going on, the terrorism in the world is escalating. Uh, we must listen to our Blessed Mother Mary and to her Son Jesus. The problem with our world is we have turned away from God. We've turned away from loving God and loving our neighbors. We've turned away from prayer. We've turned away from going to church. We've turned away from God. We've lived in this materialistic, secular, sinful society, and we have turned away from God's commandments. I pray that the world might find God. I pray that Jesus, uh, in his second coming, will be coming soon. As it says in Genesis 3.15, that he will put enmity between the woman and the serpent, between our Blessed Mother Mary and the serpent, and I think the other night I, 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 I've made some mistakes throughout the video and I, I recognize the fact that uh, it's our Blessed Mother who will crush the serpent's head and the serpent will, will bite at the, the heel of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady. And our Blessed Mother is victorious and she will, her immaculate heart is victorious. I know I, I, I tend to, when I speak, sometimes I don't think as well, things, think things out as, as clear, clearly as I should and make uh, just common uh, mistakes uh, with my with my voice, but I ask God for his mercy upon all my sins. I love God. I love Mary. I love Jesus with all my heart. I want you to love Jesus and Mary, you who hears this. I want the world to be converted. I care about America. I care about our country. I care about the people of France and all of Europe and all throughout the world. Uh, radical Islam, uh, terrorism are, are escalating in this world. We saw it last Friday in Paris, the tragic uh, terrorist attacks throughout Paris, the, uh, the, the escalation of terrorism uh, of ISIS and, 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 and all these evil networks, these radical Islam evil networks, which Obama and Hillary Clinton won't even mention the word radical Islam. Why is that? It's because they're part of that team. They're part of it. They're, they want to be politically correct, and they're scared that they're going to offend somebody by calling them radical uh, Muslims, radical Islamists. They're jihads. They're, they're fanatics. They're, they're Satan's greatest workers. We must recognize the war that we're in. We're in a spiritual war, people. We're in a war of Armageddon, the war of the spirits, the army, uh, the, the war between the armies of, of God the Father with all his archangels and angels and company of heaven, host of heaven, and Jesus and Mary fighting against Satan, Lucifer, and his henchmen, and they're everywhere. The war is raging. It's in the sky. It's on this earth. It's under the seas. It's in the oceans. You know, you look at a great white shark attacking uh, an animal or a human being. It could very well be an evil spirit within that shark at the moment of its attack. Don't you see the spiritual realm? The war of spirits is raging. We're at our all-time high. But in the end, our Lord Jesus is triumphant. His church is triumphant. He did promise St. Peter that on this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And that is his word. That is true. Our Blessed Mother and her Immaculate Heart will be triumphant. We need the current Holy Father. We need a Holy Father. Uh, we, we need our Holy Father, the Pope, to uh, consecrate Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary as soon as possible. It needs to be officially consecrated with all the bishops of the world. It's not been done accordingly, uh, according to uh, uh, St. Luci Lucia uh, of, of Fatima. It needs to be done according to the right ways and means that our Blessed Mother told Sister Lucia, St. Lucia of Fatima. And people will criticize me for calling her. She's not canonized a saint. She's in heaven. Okay, so, I mean, let's get politically correct. Mother Teresa will be canonized a saint next year. God bless her. Mother Teresa, pray for us. We need a help. You know, I'm so against and so opposed to this uh, Syrian refugees uh, coming over to America. 
it's a bad thing. We cannot put, uh, you know, it's like uh, it's, <laughs> when I quoted on my Facebook page the other day, Charlie Daniels said, uh, the great country musician Charlie Daniels said, you know, it's like putting a, a whole entourage of snakes in your yard and, you know, just pray that there's not rattlers in there. It all takes is one bad apple. And if we bring these Syrian refugees over here to America, uh, we're going to, we have no control over those that might get into our country that might bring jihad to America and that might start uh, wars and, 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 and uh, that might try to bomb up uh, America and destroy our country. Um, our country's going to hell in a handbag as it is. We need God-fearing, God-loving leaders. We must, we must uh, reform our immigration policy. We must not permit illegal immigrants just to come over here without, without uh, effectively uh, uh, questioning them and, and making them go through the process of, of being here illegally. We cannot afford to have illegal immigration here in this country. And I'm a firm believer of that. I, I'm a firm believer that we must oppose uh, amnesty. I pray for America. I pray for our country. I pray for our world. I, I want this to be a peaceful land, a peaceful country. I want, us, I want everybody to go to heaven, but sadly the word of God clearly says that many are called and few are chosen. Enter through the narrow door, the narrow gate, is what Christ reminds us in Scripture. Get on the narrow road, people. Stop living for the world, the flesh, and the devil. All, this thing, all the things you have in this world are passing. We're living in the passing world. The eternal world is where we're, our souls will live forever, either heaven or hell. Choose heaven. Choose wisely. Fear God. Love God. He's merciful, all merciful, but he's all just. And his justice, his anger, his judgments, his wrath are coming. When we die and stand before God, we will have no other soul there to represent us. It will just be us and Jesus in the company of heaven. And we'll have to give a full account of our lives. The good and bad will be weighed accordingly to what we did in this world. Choose to do good. Choose to love God. Love your neighbors as yourselves. Those, on those two commandments, as Christ reminds us, hangs all the law and the prophets and the scriptures. Uh, be obedient to the Ten Commandments. Let us promote the kingdom of heaven. Let us spread the gospel. Let us share the gospel with one another. Let us convert the world. Convert radical Islam. Convert these terrorists. Uh, t tell them about Jesus Christ. Tell them about the love. A lot of them won't listen. A lot of them are lost and they're on the devil's side and they're they're already going to hell in a handbag. But repent. Get them to repent. Pray to one another. What are the key components to success in destroying ISIS? Praying the Holy Rosary every day. If we had, if we had a nation, uh, give me a nation that prays the Rosary and I will conquer the world, as St. Uh, Pius IX said. So true. If, if our nation, America, and the world were to pray daily rosaries, have rosary hours, have rosary groups here in America and throughout the world, the world would be converted. Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, a very important a very important time, spending time with the Lord. That will give you wisdom, knowledge, guidance. It will, it will open up doors of communication to God that you never could have imagined. God speaks to me all the time through adoration when I'm with Him in front of the Blessed Sacrament. He speaks to me and gives me wisdom internally that I cannot even describe to you how blessed I am to have some of the gifts that our Lord has given to me. I pray for one another. Blessed Sacrament, spend time with the Lord in front of the, front of the Blessed Sacrament of the Blessed Tabernacle. Spend time praying the Rosary. Spend time fasting. Fasting and prayer can, can change the laws of nature, can, can stop wars. Fasting and prayer combined. Remember in the Gospels, Jesus says some of these sins, some of these devils can only come out through prayer and fasting. Combine prayer and fasting. That's a weapon that we have that is beyond the devil's worst nightmare. He knows that through prayer and fasting we can... We can transcend the world. I pray for you who hears this. I want you to turn to God. Turn to Jesus Christ, our, the Son of God, Savior of mankind. No man cometh unto the Father but through Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Remember that, Jesus Christ. I believe Muhammad is a false prophet. I believe Muhammad is, is with, with the devil and his henchmen. And he's, he's using his, his, his warriors to promote evil. And to promote sin. We must repent of our sins. Let us come together and promote the kingdom. I pray for America. I pray for God fearing, God loving leaders. I want there to be the fear and love of God in the hearts of all mankind. God is most merciful. The second coming of Christ is very soon. We are facing these times. We must eradicate radical Islam, radical jihad. ISIS must be destroyed. And the only way to cut the head off the off of Satan, which is ISIS, is to pray. Pray, 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 pray. 
Read Holy Scripture. Read the Bible. Have Bible studies with one another. Have prayer rallies. Uh, pray without ceasing, as St. Paul would remind us. Let us pray for one another. I pray to, pray to the saints, our brothers and sisters in heaven, in the triumphant church who are there for us. Let us pray for our brothers and sisters in purgatory who need our prayers. When we get to heaven, when we, get to, when we leave this world and have to maybe go spend time in purgatory, they will be praying for us. Let us promote the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is real. It's the only thing that matters. What is there if a man profit the whole world, yet forfeit the loss of his soul, is what Jesus says in Scripture. Nothing else matters but getting to heaven, but the joy, the banquet, and the wedding feast of God, where the, the finest wines, the finest foods, the finest uh, paradise, vacations that you could ever imagine will be waiting for you. I haven't been all over the world, but I've been to some very nice places like Hawaii, and obviously the Thousand Islands are a place I love very much, and other places, but... You know, think about the beauty of this earth, and it doesn't even compare. It's the footstool of God. The throne is God's kingdom. The throne of heaven is God's kingdom. The beauty is beyond anything we can comprehend. As St. Paul would remind us, that eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts and minds of men what God has prepared for those that love him. I also believe that eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts and minds of man for the pain and suffering God has prepared for those that hate him in hell. Satan and his henchmen are real. Hell is real. Purgatory is real. Our priests and bishops must preach on purgatory and hell more frequently. They must bring that wrath and brimstone, fiery sermons, those fiery, fiery sermon and sermons and homilies back to the pulpit. They must be pro proclaimed. Christ talked more about hell than anything else in the Gospels. He talked about don't let if if, if you have two hands, cut off one. You know it's better to enter life main. Then they have two hands and two feet, two ears, two eyes, whatever, and be tossed into the unquenchable fires of hell, uh, where the fire does not, is not quenched, and where you're salted with fire and brimstone. Nobody wants that. I don't want that. I don't want any of you to have to go there. I want us all to be in paradise, in that place of pleasure and joy, worshiping the Almighty Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and loving our Blessed Mother Mary, St. Joseph, and the saints. Let us pray for one another. I pray for America. You know, as I've said before, my, my name is uh, Adams Conor McHenry III. Uh, Fort McHenry is where the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, was started by Francis Scott Key in the War of 1812 when he penned what he first called the defense of Fort McHenry. I value and respect our great national anthem, and I want it to continue, and I want our country to be strong again. Well, we must eradicate these evil leaders, people like President Obama, who has no love for America, who has no love for our country, who is, who is passive and who is uh, so progressive and far left to the socialist, liberal side of, of things that he has no interest and no care for our country. It's a sad day in America that we're living in right now in 2015. But the great warning is coming. God has told me the great warning is coming, and I believe I'm the one that will implement and bring the warning to the world. I believe that I could very well die a martyr's death. I could die at the hands of it of a radical Islam, uh, I could die at the hands of, of another human being, or I might just die a natural death. I've been, I don't know how I'm going to die, but I'm prepared. I feel like my time is coming. God has told me that I don't have a whole lot of time left, and I'm ready to go over the veil and stand before God. And I, and I pray that you'll pray for me, as I will pray for each one of you, that we all might be in heaven one day at the wedding banquet, uh, at the feast of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, His Mother Mary, St. Joseph, and all the communion of saints. Pray to your guardian angels, people. We all have a guardian angel. Let us pray to them. May God have mercy upon America. I pray for the eradication of ISIS and the evil in this world. May we pray more. May we love God. May we go to daily Mass. Go to Mass every Sunday, people. It's required. Say that be partakers of the sacraments. Go to confession frequently. Confess your sins to Almighty God. Receive the absolution. He wants to forgive you. He loves you. Jesus is love, but his mercy is running thin on, 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 on our generation. Uh, there's only so much he can do before he has to step in and bring his firm fist down. And these are the times of times and the ends of times, people. The end time is upon us. Armageddon is here. The book of Revelations, the apocalypse, is being fulfilled in our generation. The book of uh, prophets of Daniel, Ezekiel, Isaiah, and all the other uh, great mighty uh, uh, prophets and patriarchs are being fulfilled in our generation. Read the Holy Bible. Practice the Holy Bible. Live the gospel. Spread the gospel. Do good works. Love God, love your neighbor, love your enemies. I pray for an end to war, an end to violence, an end to evil in this world. May God have mercy upon you. May God have mercy upon me. May God bless America. 
May God bless the United States of America. May God bless our world. May God bless the Roman Catholic Church, the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Protect the church. As we soon people will have to go underground. The church will go underground. I pray for uh, God's protection over all of you that hears this. As the Third World War will probably break out very soon. Uh, wars and rumors of wars, as scripture reminds us, will take place and are taking place in our generation. We must be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ. It is imminent. It's coming soon. Be prepared. Be on your knees in prayer. Pray your daily rosaries, people. Uh, receive confession frequently. Receive the sacraments, the Holy Eucharist and confession and all the sacraments, but those two especially. Let us live them and practice them in our daily lives. I love you. God love you. May God have mercy upon our country, our world. May we let God-fearing, God-loving leaders, hopefully one of those uh, good, strong, conservative Republican candidates will be our next president. That we might elect people that fear and love God. I care about you. Here's this. God love you. I love you. Pray for one another. Spread the gospel. Convert the world. God bless you. I add McHenry. Love you. God love you. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and all the community of saints love you. May God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost forgive you of your sins. I love you. I fear, you. I fear God. I love God. May you do the same. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless America. God bless our great nation. God bless this world. God bless Christianity. And may we eradicate Islam, radical Islam and jihad from the world. May we convert the world to the one holy Catholic and apostolic church into loving God and loving our neighbor and loving our blessed mother Mary, who is the queen of heaven and of earth and her son Jesus, who is the king of heaven and of earth. God bless you. Amen.